Moravian, Eulenburg. It's rivalry week in the Centennial Conference as the Greyhounds and Mules meet for the 62nd time on Saturday at Scotty Wood Stadium in Allentown. Moravian leads 33-26-2 in the all-time series, which dates back to 1899. Muhlenberg has won the last two, however, with the Hounds' last win coming by way of a 14-13 final score in 2010. Moravian leads the 2013-14 Matty Award battle, a year-long multi-sport competition, by a score of 4-2. This is a, a very emotional game for the guys because, you know, we always talk about this, this is really a season unto itself because this is the game you're going to remember and the seniors will remember it for, for the rest of their life. I mean, they'll, they'll probably remember each play that they're in, um, you know, like it had a history unto itself. And, and that's great, and that's going to be the, the way for both sides. Uh, they're a very well-coached team. They're fundamentally sound. You know, they run the football well. Um, you know, they have a freshman quarterback that's playing very well. Um, so, you know, at the end of the day, again, we're going to have to bring our A game. But, you know, it's something that I, I have confidence in our guys that they'll do that. They've been really focused on always, you know, taking the next shot has kind of been our motto and focusing on, the, on that next play. And, uh, you know, this will be a great week. We can't peak too early. Emotionally, we got to make sure we stay even keel, really develop this game plan throughout the week, and, and hopefully come out firing all cylinders on, uh, on Saturday. The atmosphere is definitely different this week. You know, we always say we play a nine-game season and a one-game season at the end. You know, th this week is, is completely different than the other nine, you know. And, you know, we take it day by day. They're, you know, they're a good team. Uh, they're well coached. You know, they're not going to make mistakes. But we, we could definitely, if we stick to our game plan and do what we have to do, um, we definitely come out of there and win, win I believe. But, um, you know, the guys just have to be focused, just like it is any week. Um, it's just going to be a little bit more intense out there on Saturday, and we have to stress out on the practice field and make sure everybody's ready to go. Since I've been on both sides of the fence, yeah, the, the top memory is probably, you know, my junior year uh, having an interception against Muhlenberg. You know, Muhlenberg uh, hasn't had any success passing the football, but sometimes I think you got to mix it up a little bit. Uh, two consecutive runs, and now they're in a third and long situation where you have to pass now. Mike Patchke, the wide out to the left, and they're coming. And the screen is set up, and it's intercepted once again. Number 98, Jeff Buxton from yeah. Allentown Central Catholic. And what a, what a great thing to do to be scored in your hometown here. He's a happy young man right there. But the pressure that made that play happen came from Jason Roeder coming from the outside where they had a blitz on. And you can see the pressure. These guys are coming from the outside. Roeder number 40. And you can also see number 6 coming from the outside. That's the pressure that caused that interception to happen. Buxton was the right man in the right spot. And the execution by Ryan Simonovich wasn't that bad on the screen attempt, but he just threw it to the wrong guy who busted through, and there he is. He threw the ball into a so that was pretty cool that. as a, a you know, big slow defensive lineman getting an interception. Um, and then I would say, uh, you know, I think in 2010, um, in that game we played here on our home field against Muhlenberg, you know, a very, you know, good team. Um, and uh, we came out and had a great game, and then you know, the other big memories in 2008. I mean, they came in, you know, I think third or fourth in the country. Uh, you know, we were an underdog in that game, but we knew we had a very good team and ended up beating them in overtime. So I would say those three are, are probably there. One on a personal level, playing for, for Coach Dapp, and then, and then two coaching.